Mong Kok is an area in Kowloon, Hong Kong. The Prince Edward Road occupies the northern part of Mong Kok. Mong Kok is one of the major shopping areas in Hong Kong. The area is characterized by a mixture of old and new multi-story buildings, with shops and restaurants at street level, and commercial or residential units above. Major industries in Mong Kok are retail, restaurants and entertainment. It has been described and portrayed in films as an area in which triads run bars, nightclubs, and massage parlors. With its extremely high population density of 130,000 per kilometer or 340,000 per square mile, Mong Kok was described as the busiest district in the world by the Guinness World Records. Name. Until 1930, the area was called Mong Kok Sui. The current English name is a transliteration of its older Chinese name Wang Zhao, or Mang Zhao, which is named for its plentiful supply of ferns in the past when it was a coastal region. Its present Chinese name, Wang Zhao means, prosperous corner, or, crowded corner, however, the English name did not change. For a period, the area was also called Argyle, and this name was used for the MTR station when it opened in 1979. The office building Wang Zhao Zhangxin, Mong Kok Center, which was named after the area, is known in English as Argyle Center rather than Mong Kok Center. Administration. Mong Kok is part of Yao Sim Mong District. It was part of the Mong Kok District before the district was merged in 1994. The area belongs to the Kowloon West Geographical Constituency of the Legislative Council of Hong Kong. History. Displays at the Chinese University of Hong Kong include antique potteries indicating that there might have been settlements in the area as early as the Jin Dynasty. The area used to be a Hakka settlement, with about 200 villagers according to Bayouan records in 1819. The heart of the present-day Mong Kok is along Argyle Street near Sai Young Choi Street whilst the proper Mong Kok used to be to the north, near the present-day Mong Kok East Station. Mong Kok was an area of cultivated lands, bounded to the south by Argyle Street, to the west by Coronation Road, and to the east by Hills. To the southeast of Mong Kok is Ho Man Tin and to the west Tai Kok Sui. On 10 August 2008, the Cornwall Court fire broke out. More than 200 firefighters were involved in the rescue operation. Four people died, including two firefighters. Mong Kok received a lot of negative media attention for many acid attacks on Sai Young Choi Street from December 2008 through January 2010. The area was the site of protracted demonstrations during the 2014 Hong Kong protests, including the Gao Wu campaign, and was also the site of the 2016 Mong Kok civil unrest. Streets and Markets Mong Kok preserves its traditional characteristics with an array of markets, small shops, and food stalls that have disappeared from other areas during the past several decades of economic developments and urban transformation. As such, a few of these streets in Mong Kok have acquired nicknames reflecting their own characteristics. Some interesting sites are, Tung Choi Street, this market specializes in women's clothing, accessories, and cosmetics, and is open daily from noon to midnight. There are also food stalls selling noodles, seafood, and kanji. An open-air market of fruits and vegetables is also located in the vicinity. Sai Young Choi Street South, a street full of shops selling consumer electronic products, cosmetics, and discount books. The latter are usually located on the lower floors of buildings. Yuan Po Street Bird Garden, hundreds of songbirds in exquisitely crafted cages can be seen at this market. The garden is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and is located near Mong Kok Stadium, to the north of Mong Kok East Station and east of Prince Edward Station. The garden was completed in 1997 for the relocation of booths selling birds at Hong Lok Street, aka Bird Street, which was closed due to urban renewal in June 1998. F.A. Yuan Street, this is a small neighborhood of small retailers selling sports equipment and clothing. The shops stock a diversity of sports shoes, including many shoes of rare or special editions from different places. Flower Market Road. The street and the nearby side streets are packed with florists and street vendors selling flowers and plants. At the end of the street is Yuan Po Street Bird Garden. Goldfish Street or Goldfish Market, centered on a section of Tung Choi Street, north of Butte Street. There are dozens of shops and hawkers selling tropical freshwater and marine fish, aquariums and accessories. This market opens very early in the morning. Tile Street. This is a section of Portland Street near Argyle Street and Butte Street with more than 50 retailers selling materials for construction or renovation, such as tiles, wallpaper, window frames and bathtubs. 
Photocopy Street. A neighborhood near Yim Po Fong Street and Soy Street is noted for its remarkable number of photocopying shops due to the number of schools in the vicinity. Portland Street, a red light district featuring numerous shops and restaurants. Kuang Wa Street, between Dundas Street and Yim Po Fong Street, is famous for shops selling airsoft, RC racing, modeling and other hobbying equipment. Dundas Street marks the southern end of the shopping area in eastern Mong Kok, where Sai Young Choi Street South, Tung Choi Street and F.A. Yuan Street terminate. It is named for Henry Dundas, 1st Viscount Melville, former British Home Secretary and Secretary of State for War. Ho King Shopping Center, Ka Lok Shopping Arcade and Trendy Zone are major shopping centers on the street. Various kinds of food shops concentrate on this street. Kuang Wa Hospital is also situated on the street. Across Nathan Road, the section in the western Mong Kok is relatively quiet and there are many cafes above street level in several buildings. Some popular shopping plazas located in this dense area include Sino Center. Shops sell comic books, VCDs and DVDs related to Japanese cartoons, and regular CD albums. There are also several Japanese-style karaoke booths, which can be booked by the hour. Ho King Shopping Center. Visitors can find computer and video games sold for relatively low prices. The fourth floor of the plaza is infamous for being formerly the biggest base of pornographic CDs and DVDs, and activities have diminished due to police and customs operations. However, some shops have been driven to the office section of the building. Grand Century Place. Situated next to Mong Kok East Station, visitors can find famous brand and popular shops. Mong Kok Computer Center. This three-story computer mall has around 50 to 70 computer shops, selling laptops, software, hardware and computer accessories. Langham Place. This is a 59-story complex with a shopping mall, a hotel, and offices. It opened in 2004 and was constructed based on the Hong Kong Government Urban Redevelopment Scheme. It is the tallest building in Mong Kok. Argyle Center. This usually crowded center, located next to Mong Kok Station, has three floors of shops selling low-priced clothes and shoes, plastic toys and heavy metal CDs. Other streets in the area include Butte Street, named after John Stewart, 3rd Earl of Butte, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom between 1762 and 1763. It may also have been named after the Scottish peerage of the same name, following the naming pattern of several other streets in the area. Fife Street is a street that is north of Argyle Street, south of Mong Kok Road, and perpendicular to Nathan Road. The Chinese name means, fast wealth, in English, but the name is a loanword based on the English pronunciation of the Fife instrument. Soy Street, food. The Mong Kok area has many food booths selling traditional snacks such as fish balls, fried bean curd and various dim sum. These finger foods are very popular in Hong Kong, especially for folks on the run. In addition, there are restaurants serving different kinds of cuisine, ranging from Japanese to Thai to Italian. Built Heritage Built Heritage in Mog Coke includes several Tong Lao, including Nose, 600 to 626 Shanghai Street and Louis Seng Chun on Lai Kai Kok Road. Both are listed as Grade 1 historic buildings. Old Kowloon Police Headquarters, built in 1925. Grade 2 Historic Building and one of the historic police station buildings in Hong Kong. Now part of the Mong Kok Police Station. Shui Yut Temple, located at No. 90 Shantung Street. Built in 1927, it is dedicated to Guanyin. Grade 3. All Saints Church, No. 2 Yim Po Fong Street. Parts of Kowloon Hospital. Sport Venues. McPherson Stadium. McPherson Playground. Mong Kok Stadium. Home to Citizen AA and Sun Hay SC. Tin Kuang Road Recreation, Education, Educational institutions in Mong Kok include Chinese University of Hong Kong Campus in Shantung Street, Diocesan Boys School, Hong Kong and Kowloon Chu Chow Public Association Secondary School, Hong Kong College of Engineering, Queen Elizabeth School, Shang Kung Wei All Saints Middle School, Transport, The main thoroughfares are Argyle Street, Canton Road, Nathan Road, Prince Edward Road, Shanghai Street, Three rail lines serve the area. The MTR Chun Wan and Kun Tong lines have two stations in this area. Prince Edward Station to the north and Mong Kok Station to the south. The MTR East Rail Line has Mong Kok East Station in the eastern part of the area. Popular Culture Mong Kok was the setting for the 2004 hit film One Night in Mong Kok directed by Derek Yee. The movie portrays Mong Kok, 
one of the most densely populated places on Earth, as a hotbed of illicit activity. Similarly, the district was also the setting of the 1996 film Mongkok Story directed by Wilson Yip, which depicts a young man who becomes involved in a triad gang. The 2009 film To Live and Die in Mongkok and the 2013 film Young and Dangerous. Reloaded are also set in Mongkok. The literal Chinese title of the 1988 film is Tears Go Bye by Wang Kar Wai as Mong Kok Carmen. Part of Robert Ludlum's 1986 novel The Born Supremacy was set in Mong Kok. The area is known locally for a youth subculture, the Mong Kok culture. 2014 protests. Mong Kok was one of the main sites of the 2014 Hong Kong protests. Banks, jewelry stores and clothing stores were closed as a result of the pro-democracy protests.